Hey guys, the car is currently up for sale on mobile.de and I thought an accompanying walk around video would help anyone decide if they want to come check out the car or not. So let's walk around the car and I will talk about it. The car is a 95 coupe with the 3.0 Euro engine. It was originally black. However, when I started to restore this, the complete chassis was stripped of anything and everything. And when it went to sandblasting, we found previous damage here, as well repair on both fenders and both panels done here. And I didn't really like how the repair was done. So we made a decision to swap the, that part of the chassis. So what you see here is a new chassis, almost new. You can see a cutting point here. So from here to the back it's completely one. As well, all the way down here, this is the factory welding point. Those were when it were, those are the original ones everything else you see is the new one and of course the firewall and to the front is the original one as well so from here on out is the new one as well this is all completely new one as well this is why if you check the win it has a sunroof but now it does not i have never used a sunroof on any of my cars so i opted not to have one as well it was painted yellow as it's probably visually understandable okay so let's start here why not all four rims have been refinished so there's completely new finish on all four of them all four have new brakes new pads and the calipers have been refurbished as well there is no rust here whatsoever. So it was a pretty good chassis, not perfect, but it was unmolested. So that's why I chose that one. You see from under the car. No rust whatsoever. There's only one last spot which I will show you later. Coming down to the door, the gasket is a bit cracked and this needs new clips on the door there is a chip here in the glass the middle glass is not the same as on the other side but apart from that it is fine come down to the fender I had a little accident the car slipped from jack stands and pushed this part in here fortunately it did not fall on me because this stopped the car but it damaged this side skirt and the fender again ref resurfaced trim refurbished caliper it's a Techstar something same as this one also Techstar the windscreen is fine, there is nothing there. Both the hood and the fenders are aftermarket one, because I did not find an original one without rust, and I did not want rusty part on the car. This is completely new from BMW. The lamps are in a pretty okay shape, there is no issue there whatsoever. There's a small chip here. You 
nothing really going on in the front bumper. There is a, I scratched some pole, white pole. And there is a bit of, yeah, it's hit some curb or something during parking. So it cracked the paint. Coming on to the other side. Same thing, the rim. The fender is fine on this side. There is nothing here. It only slipped on the other side. Surface rust, maybe. It's a very small one you can see next to my nail. Mirrors are fine here. I think you can see it in the video that this is a bit different color. This is still the original one from 95. The roof, fine, there is nothing there. Gasket here as well, a bit cracked. One or two clips here as well. And the size curse is fine. This is smooth, this moves a little bit. There is a scratch here and here on this one. I have no clue from what. One thing to note is this strip. I don't know what is this called, but I'm missing the end part here because it was completely rusted. So this is painted uh, black. I don't really like it, but if you manage to find one which is not rusty, then it will cover until here. I have not yet managed to find every each one rusted here so far. Tank cap, nothing there. Back window. The car originally came with a telephone, that's why it's antenna there. Some of these heating elements are not functioning. Tail light, there's nothing boots there is nothing as well other tail light pipe original exhaust system let's look under it Okay, now let's check the boot. Some clips are missing here. The top side, I have no clue where they went. I'm missing some of the tools. As you can see, well, basically all of them. I have the tow hook. There is the sub, my tools. This is uh, missing a part somewhere around here. So it needs the another one. Missing a clip here and here. Let's check where the spare tire is supposed to be. Yeah. The new battery. This is uh, Exige something, the biggest one I could find that fits. And here we see the only rust spot in the car, which is here, because I had some water flowing in, but I have already adjusted the trunk and that happens no more. One thing to note here is that there is a small uh, part where the yellow paint is coming up in these difficult to paint uh, areas like here 
and I think one here, yeah, and one on the other side as well, here. So it needs a correction, and the same thing here, and that on the other side, it's missing a piece. Let's check inside. Okay, the door. It has a crack here. And there is nothing else on the door. Door seal. Here, there's supposed to be a rubber part, but it was in really bad shape, so it was cut out. Same on the other side. There are some imperfections in the door seal. The seat needs some love as well, especially this part here, as usual. And as well, there is a tear here. The back side of the seat, there is a bit of damage as well here. The back seats are fine. I think there's no particular problem there. This lamp has a hook missing and this shelf is not the greatest. It was made for several speakers and I don't have any speaker there, only at the front. This seal disconnects for some reason, even if I put it back, I have no clue why. Again, this whole thing is one chassis, so the frame is the same dimension as it came from the factory. On the other side, it's okay. Passenger seat, same thing, it's only in a better shape naturally. You can still see scratches there. And there is a wear. Steering wheel. It was a completely refurbished one. So it looks fine. And the dashboard is flat, so it does not reflect. The climatic loses its charge in a month or so, but it functions. The seats are pre-wired. These are not heated seats, but uh, the factory cable is under there. And on that side, the speaker cover is damaged. As well, driver side, this cover is missing clips, that's why it's not put on, because it fell off. The top is in okay shape. There are some issues, like here, it should be a bit uh, tighter. And these are okay. Both of them. The cluster, the cluster is not the ori original one, because that has some board connection issues and it turns off randomly when you go over bumps. So this is from a facelifted one. And it has 128,000 miles. The original one has 170,000 kilometers. So that uh, needs to be repaired and then can be put back in the car. Engine bay. The car needs a panel alignment because now the struts are holding the hood in and if I want to close the hood it only closes that far because the strut is bottoming out so the hood should come forwards a bit and that means that this has to come forward a bit this has to come forward a bit because the gap if you check it out, 
is too small. Yeah. BMW specified five millimeter here at the minimum and 5.5 here and it's way smaller so everything should come this way and then I think the hood will close okay engine bay here is a plastic part I have that in the shed so that's there the tempo mod is not a factory one we have wired it with factory wiring so that's a retrofit here's supposed to be a metal heat shield that's missing here's supposed to be a plastic air guide it's missing as well apart from that new math uh, new throttle cable basically a lot of new rubbers this one this one and the engine was rebuilt because the back oil line in this housing collapsed so number five and number six did not get enough oil and had to be rebuilt since then i went with around maybe two thousand kilometers three maybe okay here is the pre-wiring for the wishwash system which is supposed to go here but I don't have it and here's the pre-wiring for the heated nozzles that's supposed to go here this cable is new as well I think it's visible from the condition let's start it up so you can listen to it it's not a cold start as I went to work in this car. This. I think it runs fine. There's a bit of rattle. Each one has this, but it's not bad. There's a bit of funky noise on idle, you can hear it on the back. I do not know what that is. And the EBS light is not a fault, it's just because the cluster is a facelifted one, that's why it's there. If I put back the original one, there is no ABS light, so that's no problem. And I think we should go for a drive, I guess. So you can hear the sounds or anything. The roads are pretty bad here. There is no overheating or anything like that. Temperatures are usually stable when it warms up. There is no clunking from the suspension. Should not. It's completely new stuff in there. There is a new steering rack. Thirty-six, the yellow plate. So the steering is very nice.
I hope the video was helpful and it helps you make a decision if you want to come and check out the car or not. If you have any more questions, just message me and I will try my best to answer it. Thanks for watching.